<laughs> Welcome to Everlasting Gifts, Gifts TV. TV. Oh, I'm Erin. I'm doing Jody. it backwards this oh, time. Oh, sorry. All right. Just my hat. There we go. Your little oop tube looks cuter than mine. How come? Okay. Here, you need to scoot closer. You're not as good oh. on that camera. There okay. Go. There. Okay. Yeah, there we go. I hope you all have great plans for tomorrow. Very spooky plans. Spooky. So we decided we'd do a little, I don't want to say witch lore. Nah. Uh, kind of, sort of, but not really. Blurbity blurb. Yeah. Kind of on a witchy type. Well, the goddess of witchcraft, I guess. Right. Hecate. Hecate. Depending Whatever. on where you're from. Yeah. If you're Greek or English. <laughs> you know. Right, right. Um, well, let's talk a little bit about her, or do we want to go to Stones first? I Let's mean, talk about her. Okay, we got we've got because we got the stones kind of in honor of her. So right. Did, did we, did, did we, did we, oh yeah, there's this. I was looking for number four. Oh, the and it was hiding. The selenite's down here hiding. Okay. Yeah, for those of you who yeah, we'll show it to you yeah. in a minute. Anyway, okay. So um, Hecate was the Greek goddess of um, witchcraft, magic, crossroads, aka ghosts. Um, yeah, yeah. Knowing which way to go. That right. That's one of them. Right. When on your path yes. to wherever right. you may be heading. Um, newly born. Yeah, she yeah. is the protector of everything newly born. So whether it's children or the leaves on the trees. Yep. She's actually reading about her. She's pretty cool. Yeah, yeah. You know, and that for me, um, until I started reading about her, I thought, like it said here, that she was like the ugly hag, you know. Witch. Yeah, and like mean and bad. And, and mean and bad. And um, But according to the Greek lore, she mm -hmm. was beautiful. Um, she was one of the gods that Zeus let stay on Mount Olympus. Um, and keep all of her, and keep her powers. powers. The ability um, to give humanity things and take them away. Right, depending on what her mood was. <laughs> right, right. Um, she also, I think, I, I like to think of her as Mother Nature. I know I said yeah. that earlier, mm -hmm. right? Because she can control things like the wind and storms. I mean, she's pretty freaking awesome, you guys. Yeah. yeah. Oh, let me turn this around. Oh, oh yeah, there got it go. the wrong way, huh? Huh? I hear a little guardian dog here. I got everything turned the wrong way. You you people that are live can't see anyway, but a little, anyway. little goddess statue here because she is the goddess of the moon. And a little dog statue because that's her uh, familiar, if you Totem will. animal. Right. Her, yeah. Right. What, what her she, buddy. Yeah. Her, my buddy. Wherever I go, mm -hmm. he goes. So her kingdoms were earth, sky, and sea. Okay. Yeah, so that's why she makes me think of Mother Nature because she's kind of controlling everything. Right, right. That has to do um, with that. Yeah. She could also see into the underworld. She was one of the only ones. And she was buddies with Persephone. Who's Persephone? Serious? Somebody right oh. now is okay. going, who the heck is Persephone? Okay. Well, Persephone <laughs> married Hades by being tricked, essentially. Mm -hmm. And when she found out that she could leave, it was too late because she'd already eaten six pomegranate seeds. So she had to come back for six months out of the year. And her mom, Artemis, is that right? I don't know. I think it's, I think Artemis was her mom. Gets so upset when she has to go down for her six months that everything on the, dies. So that's winter. And then when she comes back, for her six months at spring and summer because oh. she's happy and joyful and oh that is such a good well, explanation no. that's really mm -hmm. cool yeah. yeah yeah i like that yeah but y'all just learn something because could talk to her because she could see and go to the underworld and back so do you think they like I am demeter in. demeter that was her mom ah so do you think she was like, so hey, Persephone, I'm coming over. You got any wine? I'll bring some cheese. Yeah, but she couldn't eat down there, so no. Oh. She only ate the six pomegranate seeds. But I don't know about drinking. She could have been hitting the wine. Right. I would have been. <laughs> Especially if you had to be married to Hades for six yeah, months seriously. out of the year. Yeah. Because, yeah, he doesn't seem like the best of guys. No. Yeah. No. Not at all. Not at all. Um, so the other thing I thought was really cool about her was that she is also the protectress of the oppressed and um, 
those of us who might live on the outskirts of society. So no matter what it is, it could be sexual orientation, it could be religion, you know, whatever it is. Society. Fringes, yeah. yeah. So she is your protector, guys. Um, you know, so you might want to look into her a little bit more. And she was also a virgin goddess. Oh my god. But we're not entirely sure if it was because she was an actual virgin or just because she never got married. Right. Because they had it all in quotation marks, so I'm yeah. not sure. She, she liked her solitude, though. Right. You know, in other words, she didn't she want to give up her down. Yeah. Yep. yep. She didn't want that happening at all. Um, but yeah, I after reading about her, I, I want to do a little bit more reading. And, yeah. Uh, and she's going to be reflected in the newsletter. So if you want a little bit more information, yeah. got to be on the sign up for the newsletter. You can message us with your email <laughs> or go to the website and sign up. So, okay, let's do stones. Okay. So... What's first? Okay, so since she was the goddess of the moon, we've got Selenite, which is actually named for Selene, which was also another goddess, moon goddess, but we won't even go there. So this is our moon's, <laughs> moon, quote unquote, stone, Selenite, <clears throat> which is amazing for clearing other stones and things. Like if you get a used book from the bookstore and it's feeling pretty funky, just Put it on the selenite for a little while. Gets rid of all that yuck. Yep, and then it's fresh and clean and ready to go for you to imbibe it with all of your loving energy. Right, so you could do it even, I, I know a lot of, uh, say, tarot readers like to place yep. their mm -hmm. cards on selenite in between readings to right. cleanse, right. Got my cleanse from the past reading. Yeah. Getting crazy on me. Okay, We're low. yeah. <clears throat> Yes, and it uh, it's good to grid your house with. It clears negativity. It's yes. pretty. It's really pretty. Yeah. It looks like the moon. Yeah, and we have some great pieces here, you guys. I mean, we even we have gone in a sphere. They're so moony. They're so moony. Yeah. yeah. But I thought this piece is so gorgeous. I know it yeah. really is. I just it's had to bring a, it's a lovely so. piece. Yeah, it is very okay. Nice. All right. What's so, next? So she is also the goddess of the sky. So we have Celestite, which was named for its celestial beauty. Mm. See? Mm -hmm. I know things. <laughs> and it is the stone of truth. Yes. So those of you who might have a little some, something you need to say, it's going to open up that throat mm -hmm. chakra and help you to speak it. out and say. And see it. Right. Like if you're trying to see, decide something, you can see more clearly. It also brings balance and peace, and it's a just, it's actually absolutely gorgeous It's a stone. beautiful stone. Super pretty blue. Mm -hmm. Calming. Okay. Yes. I always, that, that's one thing about that one. Anytime I hold it or even get around it, it just brings mm -hmm. a calm. It's supposed to relieve pain as well. It's one of the pain Really? Yeah. Ah. Mm -hmm. Just learned something new, you know, more piece. grist for the mill. Yeah, lots yeah. of grist. Yeah. Got some grist. Okay, so, so we talk, have talk moon, to us about, sky. What? Talk to us about what? Nothing. Go ahead. You want to know about the fulgurite. I do. Talk to them th with the fulgurite. Okay. So fulgurite, it said, which, okay, first of all, what fulgurite is, if you can see it, is when lightning strikes sand and essentially creates little sand glass tubies. Oops. And sometimes they've been uncovered huge, and they're in the shape of lightning, oh, like the little cool. dendri dendritic. I want one of those. Oh, I know. Right? I know. Wouldn't that be cool? Yeah. Okay. So it said that the tube inside connects to the divine universe. Okay. So if you speak your prayer, your intention, your wishes through it to the universe. It amplifies it and helps manifest whatever it is you want to manifest. Ah, good to know. <laughs> and it looks cool. Yeah. Do, 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 do. <laughs> <laughs> I want lots of candy on so Halloween. Be like, Hecate. Hey, Hecate. Hecate. Yeah. These Prosperity. Are... Right, right. Yeah. <laughs> Time for spring. Okay. Woo, woo. Okay, anyway, so yeah, and they're just, they're really cool anyway. And they help to connect to earth energy. Okay. Which is interesting because I didn't know that, and I chose these to represent earth just because I thought they looked kind of earthy. And then when I was doing a little more research about them, found out helps you to so you connect made, you to made the earth. a good call. I did, I did. Yeah. It was very cool. And they're just, they're really cool. So 
you know what? Uh, someone came in and they're like, yeah, the hippies like to string them on strings and wear them around their neck. I'm all, do they now? Okay, cool. Huh. All right. Anyway, that's the fulgurite. Then, okay, so that's earth. Uh, oh, of course. See, ocean jasper. Look at that pretty kitty. Oh my gosh. That is, this heart is absolutely a beautiful specimen. I mean, it is. This would be a great one to meditate with because you can just see so much in it. I don't know. I'll hold it up for you too. See that pretty? It is gorgeous. Lovely. And so, ocean jasper. Let's see. I guess I can hold it up here. <clears throat> Do you want me to hold it while you, you can speak? Hold it. Okay. Sorry. Okay. Well, ocean jasper, it helps you connect to the rhythms like the ebb and flow of life. It's, it's very oceany. It's also very, very protective and grounding. And if my hat keeps flying off, <coughs> it protects um, traditionally from the evil eye. And I suspect it's because it has the little eyes in it. Right, well, and aren't those fossilized shells? No. What? I, for some reason, or, well, who was I, who said that Ocean Jasper, anyway, okay, we'll talk about it later. Yeah, I don't know, well, maybe, perhaps. No, that's, those are just gobbledygook. Like, yeah, yeah, they're okay. like the little spheric, spherules, like in uh, Ocean Jasper, like in Ocean Jasper. <laughs> Leopard skin Jasper, <laughs> Poppy Jasper. <laughs> <clears throat> but you know what, they could have shells, I don't know. Um... Really good for helping one love oneself. Aww. And we kind of, I always forget about that because I think of rose quartz and citrine when people ask me, but yeah. Now you'll That's think fun. of, yeah. Ocean Jasper. Ocean Jasper. Helps you kind of reconnect with yourself, find what's good to love about you, which is a lot. You know. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. So that's that's about what we have. Oh, oh we already talked about our dog. We her. did. He is our adoptable for the week, though. Mm -hmm. We have Hecate's dog. <laughs> right? Isn't he cute? Little black pug? Yeah, I'm thinking Something. pug. Yeah, bulldog Bulldogs of some sort. And he's actually a candle. Um, so if you're looking for that special black candle to burn, bark, bark. <laughs> That's right, I just said bark, bark. Mm -hmm. And we do have these lovely goddess um, statues. For those of you maybe setting up an altar, mm -hmm. um, they would go absolutely lovely with that. And if you're thinking, gosh, I'd like to set up an altar, but gee, Jody, I don't know how to do it. How would you do it, Erin? Oh my gosh, well, I might get this book. Oh my gosh, that is such a good idea. I know, or I'd just come in and talk to us as well. That's true. If you didn't want to read a whole book, we could help you, but this book that has lots of ideas on how to set up your altar and a sacred space oh for prayer and meditation I, I didn't even realize I never yeah. really looked at this book you know we should all have a, a little space where we can sit and just be quiet we should yeah yes that would be nice most of the time okay what are the books do we have today? um you know I just pulled a couple of other ones um you know the just because it's Halloween and we're doing kind of the witch thing, I pulled mm -hmm. out a, a book on wand lore. Um, this actually is a super cool book. It looks very Harry Potter-ish, but it's not. <laughs> I thought it was for a long time when I, when I first worked here, yeah. Yeah, and for those of you who are, um, you know, practicing Wicca, we do have lots of choices, um, you know, and some really great books here. Um, this is actually about how to make your wand, like right. carve it out of wood and to consecrate it and set its intentions and purpose and yeah, that's pretty cool. Yeah. Pretty cool. That's what I thought. Mm -hmm. And then I pulled out this guy, The Book of Shadows. By Scott Cunningham. By Scott Cunningham. Who's amazing. Yeah. He's, he's a cool dude. Or well, was, I guess. But anyway, yeah, he has lots of books. Yeah, we do very informative his books. Yes. Yep. Yes. Okay, so this week's class, mini readings with the really with Nance. With oh my god! Absolutely gosh. fantastic. Yeah, you're right. Oh my god, it's already the first, huh? It is. It's, it's tomorrow. Tomorrow's Halloween. Yeah, I know. Oh my gosh! All Souls Day. Woo! 
Yeah. So yeah. mini readings yeah. and messages yeah. with Nance. Oh my yeah. gosh. Can't and go she wrong. is the tarot wizard, you guys. So mm -hmm. come in, check her out. It's a great way to meet her. Um, she needs a wand. <gasps> she does. Mm -hmm. She needs a magical wand. Um, so I think that does it for us this week. Uh, we mm -hmm. want to wish you all a happy Halloween. You know, be safe. Don't eat too much candy mm -hmm. corn. And happy Day of the Dead. Yes. Happy Samhain. Yes. Harvest Festival, if that's, you know, what you go for. Yeah, yeah, if that's yeah. your jam. All Hallows Eve. I don't know. I think I've named them all. Yeah. There's, there's Have a lovely evening. Yeah, no matter what you practice. And we'll see you next week. Bye, guys. Bye.